Hey friends, welcome back to Charisma Simple Living. On episode seven of Falling in Love with Autumn, we are gonna create my mother's favorite recipe, meatloaf, and this is perfect for the fall. It's wonderful, easy, and let's get started. So this is my mom's recipe, and it's one of my favorite recipes that I just keep making. I love meatloaf, it's so tasty, and you could pair it off with anything. So we're gonna need beef you could either use turkey ground turkey ground chicken or ground beef which i'm using ground beef right now and some pepper ground pepper i would say if you're going to do measurements they don't measure about a half a tablespoon of pepper i do like my pepper that may be a lot for other people but i love it and I love Slap Your Mama, it's actually really tasty and it gives that little spice and kick that I'm looking for. Some onion powder, even though I'm gonna be adding onion to this, I do love onion powder. Again, if you're gonna do tablespoons, I would say half a tablespoon of that as well. Ground paprika, I love a little bit of spiciness to my food. So that's pretty much a two pinch right there. And cilantro leaves, I got this from the Dollar Tree, and it tastes so amazing. Just a few little pinches of that as well. And the aroma in this kitchen right now is heavenly. I wish I, this was like a scratch video so you could smell it. Of course, garlic powder, and I love my garlic powder. I smother garlic powder on everything. I love using my cumin, it really gives it a very different taste I would say a very Mediterranean taste and it really is just perfect for this meatloaf it really gives it that beautiful taste that I'm looking for and this is pretty much again a two pinch of cumin I have never been somebody who uses measurements cayenne pepper again to taste as much as you want I usually use just a little bit of that again I only want it so spicy and then some all natural sea salt. And I would say this is about a half a tablespoon of salt. That way I, I like my salty <laughs> food. I don't want it too salty, but I just wanna make sure I could taste a little bit of salt. And with this meat, you definitely need just a little more salt. Don't overpower it, but you want that taste of just the salt there. That way you don't have to add salt to your food, which I don't like doing. I don't know about you guys, I just like to have my food perfectly salted. And of course, we have to add the sazon that not only gives it a beautiful color, but it tastes amazing. So mix this up and we're gonna put it into our pan. Before adding the beef to the pan, I forgot my onion. I love onions, as I said. I like to add the onion powder and an onion to my food. And to the meatloaf, every bite you're gonna have is gonna have that nice, crunchy onion feeling in it, and I love onions. That's one of my favorite things. So just peel the onion, and when you do, you will cut it in half and dice the onion. You will want the onion to be in little square pieces. You'll understand in a few minutes. Um, I love it that way because in every bite of the meatloaf, I have that crunchy taste of onion. And this is exactly how you want it. Now add the onions to the meatloaf and you will mix it in very thoroughly. What I love about this meal is that you could even prepare this 
the day before, put it in plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and then when you get home from work, you can put it right into the oven. It's an easy, simple meal, simple seasonings, and yet it has every bite of fall. It's warm and cozy, and you can pair this up with white rice, brown rice, mashed potatoes. I'll be pairing it with some brown rice and red beans. Again, it goes well with anything, even just a side of veggies, but it's so tasty. Form it to the way you want it in your pot or pan. And as you can see here, this is filled with a numerous amount of onions, which I just love. And there you have it. It's beautiful, it's glorious. Look how beautiful that looks. And into the oven, I'm gonna put this. Make sure to preheat your oven to 350. And I can definitely feel the fumes of the heat coming from the oven. Put that right in there and let's bake this beautiful, wonderful meatloaf. Now let's check on it. Make sure to check sometime between a half an hour and you can see the onions already getting beautifully browned and golden. It smells like heaven. Let's get the table ready. I love to prepare my table. A few candles. It's just maybe some nice romantic movie music if you want to, or a movie in the background and you're listening to it. <laughs> you just want to have a very nice mood, and I do love to give respect to the table. You know, God has bestowed upon me and my family this wonderful meatloaf, so I want to give it the due praise that it deserves, and putting on some candles, some music, it's just, it really makes it so perfect for me. This smells heavenly. I cannot wait to bite into this meatloaf. I decided to fry up some onions on top of the stove, and with some olive oil, and just add it to the top of the meatloaf, which really gives it such a wonderful, wonderful taste. Again, I love my onions. I put my two plates there, one for me and my husband, and I want to just cut into this, and really, I can't wait to even try this. And of course, the juices at the bottom of this pan is just beautiful. So I like to drizzle that on top of my meat as well. And just look at those onions, adding the onions from the stove top, and the juices from the meatloaf. Oh boy, this is gonna be very tasty. The plates are on the table and we're washing up for dinner now. We are about to eat this wonderful meal. Thank you, God. And thank you all for watching. For my new subscribers, thank you so much for being a part of our family. We love you very much. And there's more content coming your way from Kalisma's. For Kalisma Simple Living, I hope you enjoy this episode seven of Falling in Love with Autumn. Friends, from my family to yours, have a beautiful week. Bye.